That video pissed you off, didn't it? For I told you what I thought about your God. And trust me, I didn't even do that. I got a comment said that I was berating Christians. In fact, it was kind of the other way around. It was me saying, just stop berating me. Because if I let those horses out of the corral and let them run amok, as I'd sometimes wish that I would, I would lose a lot of you guys. And it would be, oh, trust me, it would be caustic. You haven't seen the half of what I could say. It would be probably an hour and a half, point by point by point, a dissertation on why I think this certain thing. And you wouldn't have much of a leg to stand on after I was done. Trust me. It's not the plan. That's not the path. It's not what I wish to do is go after other people's religion and say you shouldn't believe. The point of the video is to say, stop leaving those comments telling me that I need your God. I need Jesus. I need your Muhammad. I need your Buddha. I need your whomever. I don't, I don't care. I don't need them. And I fundamentally don't believe it. It's as sense to me as believing in the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus. It's absolutely just doesn't make sense. Not only that, but I do fundamentally believe it's evil. I'm not calling you evil. If you think that I just called you evil, then I, you need to either work on your comprehension skills or your reading skills or your listening skills. I don't care. It's a skill, not a talent. No one's born with this. I understand. It's a skill. You got to work up to this. Start. Anyway, I think the the route I'll be going from now on is just simply, if you tell me in the comments that I need Jesus, that I need God, that I need, that I need, as I don't make these videos telling you what you need or what you don't need as far as your religion goes, like I said, I haven't made that hour and a, hour and a half long video, and thankfully not, because that would be scorched earth, trust me. I'm just going to delete the comments. Well, not delete the comments. I'm going to delete the user. That'll be the last comment you ever make. Tell me I need to come to Jesus. That'll be the last comment you ever make on your channel. Um, freedom of speech. I'm not the U.S. government. We have no constitution between us. Don't confuse me for the red, white, and blue. I am a man, and that's it. That's all I am. That's all I will ever be. Anyway, um, yeah, if you're offended by that, then I think you kind of understand how offended I am every time I see one of those comments, every time I'm berated, every time I'm badgered by this. I know you don't, but you really need to see and you don't have to believe to know that God is the fucking stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop. I not only do I not appreciate it, it's it's disgusting to me. May not be to you. Congratulations. That's fine. We have different perspectives on life. We've lived them different ways. We've seen life in different ways. I desperately tried to find God, wanted him to be real, but nah. And then I became aware of the actual readings of the, oh, nope, 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 nope. Stop the comments. I don't appreciate them. I appreciate you as a person. You might be a Christian. You might be Muslim. You might be Hindi. You might be a Buddhist. You might be anything. I don't care. But that's not why I like you. My best friend in the entire world, in the entire world, the one by whom I would stand at his side and burn the world for, he's a Zionist Jew. <laughs> Meaning he's... A Christian, he believes in Jesus as the Messiah, as the save, as his Savior, but he prays in Yiddish and follows all the old Scripture laws. He he follows Jewish tenement, and and yet <laughs> still, but so if I can be blood brothers with a man like that, then. We can be friends, but like him, he doesn't lob comments at me. I don't lob comments at him. We keep this issue at bay. It's not something that defines our friendship. Now, his mother is a different thing. <laughs> She's a sweetheart, but oh my God, the comments. I don't talk to her, but 
I love that man, but we don't get on with that. And that's a Zionist Jew. So if you can get an atheist and a Zionist Jew in the same room to not only be friends, but to be blood brothers, there's a reason for that. It's because we both practice tolerance. We both know that that tolerance means shutting the fuck up about certain subjects, okay? I don't make religious videos, and I'm going to continue not making religious videos. But those comments need to stop. 